the thing is that uh, I, I, show, I think to me, it's like I showed my dedication and yeah. time, mm. everything I was trying to do. So mm. that's what they picked and they're like, ah, this is the right guy to handle that shop too. Yes. Hello everyone, my lovely viewers. It's very nice to have you back. I'm so happy to be back with another series of wonderful conversation with a person. This time, not like usual, he's, he's having more than one personalities. So um, he's a person who's doing more than one thing. So I hope when you sit down and listen to his conversation, our conversation is going to help you in one way or the other. Please sit still and let's continue. In my, in my head, I was like, no, you know what? Send, I had an option of sending it back and t like tell them I'm not comfortable with the price you're giving mm. one. You understand? But in my, <laughs> I was skeptical. So I, I followed my instincts. I was like, no, trust the process. Mm -hmm. Go do it. Go do it. So I just like, okay, I won't bargain for the for mm. the salary. I'll just sign. I won't show need, yeah, show the need for the money, money much right more now. than what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So okay. I like, okay. I'll sign. So how, you're signing as what? As a barista? As a barista. Okay. As okay. I'm signing as a barista. So I signed a contract. Posted it back. Mm -hmm. So my visa came out. Then next thing, I'm on the plane. I came back. So when I came back, still the process, the shop was still under process. I was still building up the, the shop. Yeah. Everything was mm. still scattered. There was nothing. I was like, ah. tables everywhere. There's I, no, not, not, not even place, tables. Yeah. It was just like, the, the piping and everything. Everything was not yet in place. Nothing like no finished work. Yes, yet. you haven't. It, there's nothing visual like a shop. Mm. Hmm? The, the work has just been started. Yes. So I was like, what did I get myself into? Hey, I can imagine you. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, from yeah. something. But mm -hmm. still, the, your instincts are telling you keep, yeah, keep yeah, pushing, yeah, yeah. keep pushing. Yeah. But surprisingly, the, the shop took seven months to open. Seven months to open fully. Fully, yeah. Yeah. But um, I was paid for all those seven months. Wow. Wow. So I was like, ah, it's good. My bills are getting yes, yes, so yes. I had that pressure. You know, you know, at times you feel like you have that guilt of you're taking yeah. money and you're not You're not working. doing nothing, yeah. So, like, oh, so I started coming around the shop, help these guys. You know, the, the contractor was slow. And since I'm a bit handy, so I was kind of, you know, trying to come and yeah, your hands, hands on, and yeah. somewhere, mm. this, this install and installed a th few things that I, I had knowledge about because I'm done installed the CCTV, yeah. the music, oh, everything. So I was trying to here and there, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think from that, when I was um, uh, still in that process, so they picked mm. something with me. Mm. So they called me one time to a certain shop around here in yeah. South Point. So I was like, okay, uh, Jamil, we need to have a word with you. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. So I think from that initiative, I was always taking, coming around the shop, trying mm. to do this and that. Uh, it, it, uh, it caught their eye. So they're like, okay, before we even started the shop, they're like, okay, yes. now how do you see if we put you in charge of the shop and we increase your salary? See, from barista, you've been earning your salaries yes. before even starting to work, but yes. you've shown your interest, you've put your hands on to what is going on in the shop, uh, and then now. Mm -hmm. and then, so wow. basically, that's how I became. I'm a manager of the shop. The shop. So you I, got promoted before even starting, starting the shop. Yeah. Wow. So the thing is that uh, I, I, show, I think to me, it's like I showed my dedication and yeah. time, mm. everything I was trying to do. So mm. that's what they picked and they're like, ah, this is the right guy to handle that shop too. Yes. So that's how I became. And then mm. I, I, I tried, I was like, okay, let me get my, my other team. Yeah. Tell me you can organize your team yes. and get on board. So there's one, uh, a friend of mine, he was working in my previous company, he yeah. was a chef. So I was like, okay, I'll get the head chef. Yeah. Come in. <laughs> so they're working. Yeah. Uh, wow. And the kickstart was okay. Uh, it was progressing. Mm. Mm. People were coming in. Yes. Gladly enough, every sector was a, was a plus. So yes. the coffee was good because mm. the bosses knew about coffee. I knew about coffee. I got mm. uh, staff who knew about coffee. So yes. we shared ideas and we put everything in place. Together, uh, wow. The food was amazing because wow. uh, my boss is good with food. She has a good hand of food and taste. Yes. So the food was good. She would know if something is tasting good. Yeah, you told yeah. us from the start. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I ended up in good vibes. Only that uh, amid this 
the climax of the shop then yeah. boom the lockdown the lockdown <laughs> yeah, i get it yeah it, it so, happened to yeah. every every but still yeah. even right now because by the time we do this interview it's past the lockdown yeah. and you're still here yeah so every company which made it through is yeah there's the there yeah because our 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 biggest market mm. uh, uh, our clientele we are from um, the universities around yeah and, oh. they are, and up to now they are still not yet picked up yeah, properly. So, yeah, yeah. That's why you see the traffic is still low. A bit low, yeah. Yeah, but we'll basically going, about my journey. Shall... Yeah, about my journey mm. into this, it's it's kind of. It is actually very interesting. You might not know. It's I know if yeah. if someone is critically listening, they've learned something out of it because I have myself mm. um, on the same actually on the on that same point. Mm. What are the things that you can pull out that you know helped you to achieve this much? Because. Seriously, there's those are things that I've, I've heard myself from you, but maybe there are those that you know that with this character mm. is the reason I've made it this far to where I am right now. Uh, basically, I would say I have a, I have a saying, see good in every situation. Like okay. you, see, you see good in yes. every situation. Yes. Okay. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of something before it happens. If okay. something happens, mm. then... You're like, happened. I was afraid about it. Yeah, so, okay, mm. let's go on. Something has happened, okay, let's go on. Okay. okay. So, if you see good in every situation, it pushes you mm. far. Uh, but I'll give you an example, like when you just opened, we are only two staffs mm. in front, like yeah. uh, our front of the house, we are only two staffs and we had to work long hours, like seven to 10. Yeah. No offs for like, I, I had no off for about eight months straight, eight months. Because you're like, okay, if I take an off, then who is going to, yes. there's only so, one person remaining. Yeah. yeah, so we're only two. You are dedicated. Yes, we're only really. two. So you just give it all you like. Yeah. If your time to rest will come. You will rest good. You, you will which rest, came uh, actually, uh, and yeah, you got which, some rest. Yeah, so yeah. which came, like, uh, we got mm. new people on both sides. I can mm. decide when I can go off, what time I can work, and stuff like that. You understand? Yes. So basically, it's uh, me, I believe if you see good in every situation. So at times, maybe you're at a workplace mm. and then there's a, a certain things that are not going well. Yeah. That is a reason why something is like that. Mm. So if you know your goals, you just pass, hold on to. And, Press and yeah, keep and, going. And, and just going. But if mm. you, someone who is so, how do they call those people? Someone who doesn't wish for anything but to happen in a field. Okay, if, a person who wants it perfect all, perfect the, time, all the time, which is very impossible for a human being. Yeah. So basically it won't go well with you. Yeah. So at the time you'll be afraid every time. Cause every you, hiccup yeah, will because, push you back or push you back. Yeah, yeah. Like everyone has planned for mm. last year. Exactly. And then boom, March. Things happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you fainted, I actually mm. some people committed suicide during know, that year. Yeah, it was it, terrible, they yeah. could not imagine what was going on and what is happening. Mm. But the strong ones, we are still here. We yeah, survive. we're still moving. <laughs> yeah, it happened. Okay, life goes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, besides seeing good in everything, anything else that you can point out? Um, uh, I think if we, if you, I know we have religion, we yeah. have culture, we have yeah. everything. It's one thing that drives us around. It's mm. one thing. People will tell you, okay, be religious, be this, to be a good person. Yes. But I myself, I think if you're human in whatever you're doing, Okay, if you're doing something, the first question would be, if it was me, would I like that? Oh, wow. Yeah, if it was me, wow. would I like that? Wow. So if you have that thinking in everything you do, so everything you're going to do to someone, you first imagine, okay. If what it if it me, was done me, to me? How then, would I yeah. fail? So you end up, if you act or you do everything in a more human way, mm. everything goes smooth for you, you know? And, um, and always giving a helping hand because this life is a circle you help someone here yeah. you find them in another hands around it's a small world someone yes. keeps them on yes. side yeah you, you understand so mm. basically i tend to live life as simple and as human as possible wow it has helped you a lot i love it it helps i'm um, yeah. okay mm. good mm. um anything else that you want to add on to the because i know there's so many yeah. If someone has been listening to you already, we have noted like so many of them. Uh, but then those two also were highlighted. Mm. Seeing good in everything mm. that you do and keep human. Just keep human. Keep human. Yeah, Humanity. Just, yeah. just keep natural. Don't mm. force anything. I mean, mm. just, uh, just, just move in. Just flow with everyone. Because personally, I have friends who are in all like, kind of uh, levels of life. Mm. I don't hold myself as maybe I, I would say, okay, I've assumed this status. So yeah. then people below this status yes. don't mind that much. So basically, I interact with everyone, with everyone in, yeah. in their kind of one. 
uh, irrespective of their uh, standard of living or their class or yes. their religion or where they come from, but according to so I reason. Wow. So you reason someone Humanity. according to how they reason, and so life goes on. Wow. Yeah. wow, 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 wow. What else can I add on to that? You've had, and I know, I definitely know that you have picked something out of what our guest has said today. Jamil has said today, I have learned something as well. We are still going on with him, but if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please click the subscription button below there. Kindly turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss every time we post a new video. And besides that, keep the comments coming in. It's love. You know, Jamil will be going through these comments and see if any questions has to be answered and he'll give you the answers that you're seeking. And if you have a new idea, something that you've heard that you want to emphasize, feel free. Just put it in the comment section for it will help someone, definitely. This channel is all about helping someone. And if we keep it going like that, oh yes, we're going to go so, so far, further than we can ever imagine. Yes, Jamil, back to you, dear. Yeah. Uh, what about these other things that you do? You talked about DJing. Maybe I can begin there. Yeah, <laughs> no. This is something I've done since I was, I would say, 13. 13 years. Yeah, because I remember when I was joining my high school, that's when I picked that interest. <laughs> what did you do with your parents' radio? Tell me the truth. <laughs> no, actually, I wasn't so much you of a You didn't open any? I, I, no, I wasn't so much of a mechanic, <laughs> but I had one problem. <laughs> yeah. Whenever we had a party yeah. in my area or mm. a wedding or something, yes, yes, yes. I was the last kid to leave. Hey. And I was always... Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> at times, African mother, where yeah, have you been? Yeah, at yeah. times it would get so late that yeah. uh, I will now uh, I'll be afraid of going home. I'm yeah. scared of going home alone, so I end up sleeping there. Don't and tell I'm me. I'm like, I'm dead the next day. Really? Time. And then you go back the next morning. Yeah, and basically, I wasn't so much... I was, I'm not good at dancing, yeah. so I was like... I'm, going there to dance or something but always i would go stand next to the dj's place. you look at what they're doing so I'm like, this you know yeah they're pressing so much things i'm seeing so many lights yeah. i like one day i'll try this thing mm. so um when i was around in i found form one yeah I, that's when i picked the interest of being a dj okay so i went to there's one guy called isaac some dj isaac so i used mm. to go to him for classes yes. And stuff that I picked interest, but it was on a little tune because you, know, you yeah. have to go to school mm. and then you have to do this. And you're still like a minor, so you yeah. can like yeah. decide yeah. to do it fully. Yeah, but my mom was a bit uh, supportive, really. Yeah, first thing I'm hearing from an African mother, oh, yeah, so what would I do to actually, myself? Let me actually, see. <laughs> 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 when it tells me I want to do DJ, like again, again, is, yeah, it, it was kind of divided because mm. my mom, my mom was supportive. She used to give me actually that 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 like kind of tuition, the one I used to pay to that DJ. To, to, the, to DJ, yeah. So he's on she's the one who used to give me the money. Okay, go. But my dad She's so yeah. she's so, so my yeah. dad was kind of skeptical uh, about this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. You know, he would tell my aunties, you know, this boy is old now he's going <laughs> so most of the relatives I can imagine and, and still some, in yeah. school and learning DJ and yeah, you know yeah. the relations sometimes people misunderstand it by the way. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, you know Back then, being a DJ was like being the, the people. Oh, yeah, you are Tamu Satulem. So, and you are camping. That was Luganda, just a Luganda kind of thing. Like, you know, when so, a child goes into music and everything to do with that, it, the, people used to think it's the child is already spoiled. That's what we were saying. Yeah, for those of you who don't know Luganda. Yeah.